Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we will introduce the Florence Grid widget presented by the Ultimate Store Kit plugin. Florence Grid provides a minimalistic and practical product gallery to showcase shop products on your online store. You can easily design beautifully crafted product galleries with colorful backgrounds, product images, custom product badges, prices, ratings, and categories using the widget. The widget comes with a double image flipping feature that shows a different version of each product when a user hovers over them. There are custom text effects, hovered card buttons, a flexible grid and list layout, and more ways to change the whole appearance of the grid. Just explore the demo gallery to find out the different layouts to design with the Florence Grid widget and even go beyond that. Now let's prepare to look at the backend. Once you drag and drop the widget inside your page, you will see the default grid in front. It can be a grid or a list depending on your demand. The action buttons are hidden unless the user hovers over the products. Now select the number of columns, it can be 4 or 3 columns. You'll get two scroll bars for column and row gap adjustments. Then set the text alignment to left, middle or right. Just try it out. Next, you can select the image size from the drop-down menu. Then enable the columns filter switcher. It'll display column search results at the top left of the screen. There is also instant column number switching options available, just click them to see. And of course, the pagination helps your visitors navigate the rest of the product pages. It's displayed at the bottom. Let's turn off the two buttons. Next, the query section lets you choose the source of the grid as well as lets you select the number of products to be displayed on the grid. There are more options to filter the products on the display and show only the specifics that you prefer. That also includes the hide free product switcher right below as well as the hide out of stock product switcher. Next, the additional section has three subsections with lots of switches to further hide or display features on screen. Like how you can turn off the category switcher to hide the categories from the products grid. Next, you can see product badge switchers that you can modify yourself to limit the number of features. Let's turn off the sales badge and see it vanish from the grid. Also, you can set the new badge duration days from the field here. Then comes the part to show or hide action buttons aka add to cart, wish list, and quick view buttons for the product grid. Try turning off any switcher and see the result. Now let's move on to the style tab. The first section is the item section where you can bring changes to the whole grid. Next from the image section, let's change the background color into a gradient. And then pick colors for the gradient. You can change the gradient color locations to adjust the luminosity. The gradient could be linear or radial. The latter looks better.
Then go to the title section and change the hover color for a better feel. For the price text, let's change the cell color to something vivid. You could also change the rating color, it pops up upon hovering. Next, there are currently 4 badges active for the grid, so you get 4 subsections to customize them. Let's change the color of the discount badge for example. You can also do the same for the new badge. Now only the action buttons are left. There are quite a lot of color customizations for the buttons. Just try some tone till you like it. That's all for the Florence Grid widget. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and stay updated. See you next time.